SciFest was launched nationwide in 2008 and the aim was to promote a love of science, technology, engineering, maths or STEM and to give students a forum where they could display the results of their investigation. But you spin it and on average I get 7 volts, sometimes I get 14. And if I made this project bigger, I could use a chinchilla hamster wheel. I could um, use bigger magnets and more coils. I could charge things like phones, even. So I would like to do that as my goal. And we're going to build on this with more experiments to prove our hypothesis, which is mindfulness can help your performance in exams. and this year we entered 10 projects into SciFest. Uh, it's a great opportunity for students to work on their inquiry-based skills, their communication skills, their critical thinking skills. Students have worked from our school on a range of projects. So they've looked at bacteria, they've looked at how music impacts concentration and the girls are actually working on a fantastic project in which they're using coffee as a sort of fuel source. Coffee from coffee machines and to see if we can use that as fuel like as a replacement of coal and turf and around 90% of it burned and 90% was left over so it could be very good as like, environmentally friendly because it uses waste and also it doesn't, not as much smoke comes out of it so it's very good. Everyone else has put in so much work, like you can see it from all of their projects and the judges are definitely battering on the questions, you know, but it was a brilliant day out, I mean, I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah. My project all started because I noticed that some people, when they start to develop memory loss or like the early stage of Alzheimer's, they forget to take things like medicine or they lose their phone and keys. So then that got me thinking, I had to try and design something to help remember to take their medicine, appointments and to find things. So I've used the Google Calendar, which means that you can set it from anywhere in the world. I've used the Ford Raspberry Pi, which searches my Google Calendar, and then whenever it's a certain time, the red light in the box flashes, so then the drawer opens and they take their medicine. If you think you have a bad idea, it's not a bad idea, you know, go for it. We didn't think this could become what it is. I'd say like, do something that interests you, because then you'll actually put your full heart and soul into it. I never really had much of an interest kind of in science or anything of that nature. You might think, oh, this is too high tech for me, this is too... That's the way I always thought of it, like, from a personal point of view. The more it went on, the more it became interesting because it's relevant and it's in your everyday life. Students have a forum to do investigations or discovery learning in school, but it's only as part of their curriculum, whereas this takes it outside the box. They develop skills, critical analysis skills, communication skills. I could see myself in science, not really any other subject apart from that. 